Hello folks, today uh, working on a little bit of a chainsaw issue. Uh, what this is, this is a Husqvarna 455 Rancher model. Um, great chainsaw, have not had any issues. Did have to replace a fuel line at one time. But other than that, uh, you really can, it's hard to beat these Husqvarna's. I think you could run over one with a tractor and it would still work if you work and everything. But um, over this past uh, winter, we were out cutting some firewood, and one thing that happened that I had never seen before was a my chainsaw um, bar here. The tip of it actually, I guess there's some type of bearing or some type of mechanism here in the end. And when it did, it, it just froze up actually, and I mean it is solidly froze up and bound up. Uh, let a guy look at this. I'm not a chainsaw mechanic per se, but... But he said he had never had seen that. Um, he had heard about it. But whatever happened, this inside, this uh, piece here just completely, uh, just, I guess, uh, let loose, uh, froze up, bound, something happened. But either way, uh, it's got to be replaced. It's not any good. This, uh, this bar here was actually, uh, wasn't very old at all. And, um, but anyways, uh, that's, a, that's a piece of machinery mechanics of it broke so i went over to the chainsaw uh, place this uh, last week and um, got myself a new uh, oregon versa cut aluminum core bar you can see here that that it is moving uh, as it was this one here you can see has four uh, grommets that that held it in i don't know if maybe this is a new design because now we have on this particular bar has five or if it's just the fact that it's it's uh, a newer model or something that has came out but uh yeah definitely uh something that was new to me i'm gonna replace uh the chain on it um oregon chain um again this is a 20 inch bar husqvarna 455 so let's break it down get this new bar and chain on it and get back to splitting some firewood Prior to ever turning our, our wrench or getting anything uh, ready for working on is getting a little bit organized. Get your tools out. In this particular case, I have this chain here. I already have it out of the box and ready. Sometimes uh, getting the chains out of the boxes can be very, very uh, uh, difficult because they like to put them in that small box and it's hard to get the thing uh, actually out and unwound properly. So. Um, and putting it really on here can be sometimes challenging too. Um, it's just you got to work with it, have some patience. And I'll tell you, I'm I'm one of the ones that is uh, the least patient person, probably in America. Um, but uh, you see there, here, get it all set, everything, get everything in the runners as as they can, and go from there. Now, one thing that you will possibly have to adjust, you have a set screw here that actually changes the uh, length of this bar and the reason that is is it's just like a, uh, anything um, you know with due time it's going to slightly stretch and things like that so I like to somewhat get it straight on here and then always have your uh, flathead screwdriver something that you can use to adjust as needed put this on looks like right now I'm going to need to take and um, move this set adjustment up closer towards the front because it was pretty much bottomed out. So get that up here where it actually goes into the bar. And I'll show you here on the old bar what I'm talking about. That adjustment screw goes in here and what it does is, is that slides this bar forward and aft to help keep that chain tight. You've got to have a tight chain, otherwise it will not work properly. We'll put these on. We'll adjust it, and then we'll uh, see how she runs here in a second. Pull it up tight like that. Get that all set properly. See here, I have a little bit of slack in the in the chain. I'm gonna use that flathead screwdriver and adjust accordingly 
however I need to with my screwdriver here. First thing what I need to do is basically get this a little tighter than what it what I have it. There we go. Now once that is tight and I'm satisfied, go ahead and lock down those nuts because you definitely don't want it moving, especially with it out there running, that chain to come off and then you will be uh, similar to the same shape that I was whenever I uh, had issues and it not working properly. But you can see there, New Oregon VersaCut Aluminum Core uh, bar, brand new chain on this. Now let's crank it up, go out there and cut a little pe few pieces of wood and get ready to split wood. Well, folks, we didn't get everything cut this afternoon, getting dark on us. Uh, plus, I got to do a little maintenance on my splitter here. I just noticed when we walked down here. But I uh, got everything fixed here on the 455 Rancher. Uh, new uh, new uh, chain and bar did excellent. Uh, it's definitely what was the issue. So I'm glad I've got that fixed now. Uh, once we get the wood splitter fixed, we'll uh, have the rest of this stuff split and everything. But... Uh, we appreciate you watching. Hit that subscribe button. Um, follow this uh, little segment here. We'll go back to the to the fall, winter, when we were splitting some firewood up here with my son and I. And um, we appreciate you watching. Until next time, take care, stay safe.